Hey guys, this is Tom at VSE, and I want to talk about our 2017 through 2023 GM Duramax L5P CCV upgrade kits. So first, before we get to this, I'm going to explain how the factory CCV system works on the L5P. A lot of people have asked us, how do they work, and what are the failure conditions about these things? So uh, here we have our 2020 motor. Um, they are basically the same, 17 to 2023, but this is the factory L5P uh, CCV system. So if you see, it's a plastic box that's bolted to the, the driver's side valve cover, and it uses an oil fill uh, system that integrates into the CCV system to fill the motor. The CCV system is there to remove crankcase gases and pressure from the crankcase and routes it back right into the inlet of the factory air intake horn. But the problem with the factory is, one, it uses boost pressure to drive the CCV system, and its failure, its, its failure point is it tends to crack this plastic over time. Uh, the other issue with this is this fill port oftentimes gets broke off just because it's a flimsy piece of plastic. And again, over time it gets uh, broke and degrades. And the last problem with it is this entire system, if you need to service this, replace it or anything, it's not a serviceable component. In fact, to remove this piece, it's got GM security locks in there which we use a tool to remove, uh, which is basically just a snap on easy out, but we have to easy out the fasteners off this kit. So in order to remove the entire piece because GM made it the way that they did, you can't just buy this by itself. You have to buy the whole entire driver's side valve cover assembly. To pull the driver's side valve cover assembly off, you have to literally pull the fuel lines off, the entire fuel rail off, disassemble half of the AC compressor to pull this assembly, the valve cover off. And as of shooting this video, this piece was on national back order, this entire valve cover and CCV system uh, because they are integrated into one component. So again, I'm gonna take this piece off. Brady, if you can zoom, I'll kind of explain how it comes apart. So the factory system um, has this integrated fill port. I'm gonna take that guy off and then we disconnect the boost line, and I'll show how this guy works. So this boost line uh, is gonna drive the CCV system, or at least it assists in CCV flow. So we're gonna take the, the port that goes from the CCV to the air intake horn off. And after we've uh, extracted the easy out uh, bolts, this entire assembly comes off. And we've split this apart and sawed it apart so people could understand how it works. But what you're left with when this guy comes off are two holes. One for um, CCV to come back up and through, and another one, and they work together, another one for oil to drain back into the motor after you've filled, or the CCV has flowed um, crankcase vapors back into it. So you're left with two holes once this is removed. So once this guy has been taken off there, I'm gonna show you how it works. This is probably not very well explained. So we've cut this into three layers. And what happens is, CCV comes up through the bottom of this, this port here and it flows up into the top of, of, of here. And CCV goes across this diaphragm and then it flows down into this venturi that sits here, this entire venturi. And underneath of this venturi is this little um, circular, like a centrifuge device and the excess oil flows right down into this port and then the vapors that are being extracted out of the CCV system come up through the top of here and they get spun out. There's like a little uh, a, a turbine that sits in here, if you can see that. And this little turbine has this little piece of sock membrane that sits around it and the oil vapors are drawn up through the top of this and the idea is that they're extracted into the CCV system, right into the factory air intake horn. Um, the remaining part of the CCV oil, because this is gonna be a mixture of air and oil, um, flows right back down into this port right here. And this port, this guy is connected to boost pressure right on the outlet. Brady, you can show them. It connects right to the outlet of the turbocharger right here. This is turbo outlet. And it uses boost pressure to assist in dragging and pushing the oil that would have sat down in here right back down in the crankcase 
through this little plunger. So oil is going to flow back into the crankcase, right back into the crank. The remaining amount of oil that sits in the system gets drained right out of this little weep hole right here after it comes out of this little center view, right into that weep hole right there. So the problem is you sometimes can have 400 degree air charge temperature, especially on trucks that are turned up quite a little bit. We could approach 400 degrees right on the outlet of this, um, this boost pipe here. And what we've seen is it melts the bottom of this, because it's so hot, it melts the bottom of this plunger and then melts the bottom of this and then puts full boost pressure right into the crankcase. So we've seen a couple motors run away from uh, boost pressure being induced into the crankcase of the, the truck and then when the user lets off the gas, crankcase pressure overcomes boost pressure, and then the oil flow gets vacuum drug right into the inlet of this, uh, this in air intake horn from GM. So that is a problem. We've seen that before. The other issue is this heat can crack this plastic over, over time and then it'll degrade it, and then uh, all of a sudden now you got a ton of boost pressure going right into the, into the motor. So that's the way that the factory CCV system works. That's the failure conditions that we've seen from it. Um, and the, the biggest problem is that, again, as of shooting this video, we can't even get the uh, driver's side um, valve cover assembly, which would have had the factory CCV system in there. So our system replaces this guy with two components, one to fill oil and one to remove crankcase gases. So this is an exploded view of the block. So this, um, has two devices. One is a, is a larger hole, a series of holes in here, and it's the first differential pressure drop uh, system, and it's integrated into the block. It's one solid piece. We five axis machine this, and it takes most of the differential pressure out of the system and drops most of the oil right back into the, into the driver's side valve cover. And then the other is this. this um, these holes are a lot smaller. It minimizes the amount of Again, they minimize the amount of crankcase gases that are getting right into the air intake port. This isn't going to break. This is billet aluminum, 6061. Both these components are, uh, and they're super tough. So the way they look when they sit on the block are very similar to this. So there's gasketed material. This guy just gets dropped right onto here, like so. And then this piece screws right into here, and obviously you'd have it you'd have it assembled before you put it on there. But this guy sits on here. And then it, as an assembled component, it looks like this. So you got a 90 degree elbow. And the 90 degree elbow sits just like this. And then the fill port sits like this. And then you connect the factory CCV line right back to the intake port like this. So now you've taken care of two scenarios. You've added a place to fill oil and you've added a more robust system to uh, port some of the CCV gases and crankcase gases back into the air intake horn. Um, the other thing that this actually helps out with is in addition to dropping some of the crankcase gases, it works with the factory GM air intake. So there's a venturi. So as airflow goes across this venturi that sits in here, the venturi effect draws crankcase gases in of itself right through the CCV pipe, right into the air intake. So again, these things will, as, as the L5Ps get older and older and older, this system, the factory system struggles to get some of the oil ported back down on the driver's side valve cover. Uh, mostly because this little screen in here gets plugged up over the course of time. Uh, sometimes these crack and melt or just have some other issues. The billet aluminum device uh, has two integrated components in there. They're really just not going to fail over the course of time. So what you guys are going to get in the kit is the block. Um, you're also going to get a boost block off port. Now, the reason that we block boost off is the problem that I just discussed. You're introducing 400 degree charge air temperature right into the inlet of the block. So we've often seen that, um, and this, this block off piece sits like, like this. So you will no longer be introducing boost down into the crankcase, and you'll no longer have the possibility of 
getting a runaway motor as the result of the CCV system itself failing. So again, we're isolating boost pressure from the CCV system. We're giving you a place to fill oil and we're giving you a more robust component to, um, to vacuum drag CCV gases into the back end of the air intake. So if you guys have any other questions about this, you can give us a call at 833-789-7700. You can look at our store. This is one of our SKUs. Um, and then when you guys get shipped this, there's also a pack list so you guys can see what you get and instructions on the back. It's easy to follow. It takes you about one hour to put this system in place, uh, assuming that you guys buy our extractor tool. If you do not get this extractor tool, um, you can get this at most any hardware parts store, but you're going to need this to pull this kit off and make it a, a safe install. That's all we got. Thanks. Seven and a half minutes. No. Nine and a half minutes. 10 minutes.